Hey, how are you, Da? Long time. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? How is everyone uh, doing? Uh, we're I'm going sure to do a good. special. I, I really hope so. I really hope so. We're near the end of the year, 2023. I believe it's a little bit better than uh, 22. Uh, but we have something really special today. We're going to uh, review Go login is functionalities pricing how to use it how to connect uh, actually account with the proxies what the advantages the disadvantages uh, to automators to people that are uh, doing affiliate uh, they will take it from here yes thank you very much and thank you guys for uh, joining us so yes we will focus about the money making also from this tool and how you can utilize that. So just a short um, explanation. I think they actually make a great example over here. Is a right over here download for, for Mac, but how they know, how do they know they are, I have Mac, right? So this is basically what we are going to share with you. What is like this anti-detected browser? And uh, this is, we think, one of the best one on the market. And um, basically, I'm sure all of you know that, that everyone on the website tracking your fingerprints, your cookies, your location, even your device. And if you want to do some stuff on social media and remarketing, uh, you need to hide it. So um, this is what you can use for that. And as for the money part, let's get into the business. So you can use Go Login if you want to do some reviews and sell reviews in Google, Class Pilot apps and cool stuff like that. You can use it also to create avatars and manage the avatars using the Go Login. Um, you can use it for affiliate marketing, you can use it for creating ads and a lot of this kind of stuff where you can make money using this tool. The pricing, by the way, are pretty reasonable. It's not uh, too much. If you take it for a yearly, it's, of course, uh, cheaper. But if you take it like for one month, for example, it starts with like $49 a month. Not that big. You can try it out for free. The difference with a package is just about how many browsers, how many profiles you can have. Um, how many times you can share them, if you will have team members, Android app, and so a few stuff over here. Um, but yes, I think always you can start with a basic package just to understand, to try it out and to go from there. And as for the technical part and how to do this and what, for example, Tal is doing that, so he can explain to you better than mine, better than me, sorry, how to use the platform and how to make really good things with that. So I, I really think that when we are talking about Go Login and like any at the tank, the users are uh, really diverse, as they said. Uh, it can be from the simple thing like doing affiliate, creating ad accounts, creating eBay accounts, to do drop shipping. Uh, it can be also if you are a cybersecurity uh, researchers and you want to protect yourself to be hidden on the web and you want to do investigation without people be able to track you back down. Uh, in general, when we're talking, for example, on Chrome or Firefox, uh, it's like you're literally giving the websites every information that you have. Uh, I will give you just a small example. So when I'm talking about fingerprint, I'm always checking it and at I am, am I unique? Uh, am I unique is, please. Yeah, we have to course. see that. Am I unique? It's actually a website that shows you everything that uh, any yeah. website knows. Uh, so this is how it looks like. Uh, and then I'm using it, my Chrome, I'm using my own IP. So literally any website can learn everything about you. Uh, let's give it a second to, uh, to load. Uh, any website can know like everything about you. There are like around 5,000 uh, uh data points that like the browser gives uh to the uh, to the websites for example i'm using mac i'm using chrome which version of the chrome my preferred language is hebrew and the time zone the time uh, at and then like you know like only based on those four fingerprints like let's say that uh, i'm a service security uh, person like they can take all of those they can easily know that like where is the location that i'm uh, located in which like uh, language i'm speaking uh, which time zone i am so which in which part of the world uh, and then they can see like i'm using macintosh the uh, the uh, uh, the motherboard that i'm using that is from intel 
Uh, a lot of other headers that I'm giving them uh, languages. If I have more than three languages, they're, they're also getting it. Uh, but this is like only the small things. You know that, for example, when you're sending like an emoji on uh, an iPhone or an Android, you're getting two different images. So this is called Canva. This is how the, the how does it look? So this is also something that you give. Uh, you give all the list fonts that you're using. So it's really easy to know like which language. Uh, you're using, for example, uh, if you're using Hebrew, Hebrew has a really specific uh, fonts, either Arabic, Chinese, or any specific uh, languages as a uh, specific uh, font. So based on that, it's really easy <laughs> to know from which country you yes, are yes. from. Thank you. Uh, but as you can see, there are a lot, a lot of things that you can do. This is the free version. If I will pay the website, they will show me uh, much more free prints that uh, I'm leaving behind. Uh, also the size of the screen at the end, a lot of things. So uh, this thing can meet you again, like if you're a subject security or you just want to create farm of accounts. So to run ads on Facebook, run ads on Google. Uh, if you like to, for example, in my company, we're using a lot of Telegram to contact uh, uh, new potential clients. So like if you're sending too much, you are being blocked. So we, for each employee, we, we have, for example, five telegrams uh, that can help us out, like to reach out to more people without getting blocked. But again, the use cases of like anti-detect browser are really uh, diverse. And I want also to add to uh, what Adi said, that a big advantage that you have also with Go Login, that you can like, for example, if you're building like a scraping company, or if you're doing like building the automation, Go login can do the fingerprints work also for you, uh, which means that, uh, for example, they will uh, take care of the fingerprints. Again, like they have like a lot of programmers that work on it all the time because it's it's a game that changes all the time. Uh, but you can connect to their API and then you can run your automation on their browser. So you don't need to create the automation, you don't need to create the fingerprints yourself, only for example, a profile doing like, or only for example, yeah, creating an ad, you can use their browser to do that via an API. They support a puppeteer, they support like a lot of uh, 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 chromium, everything that you need for the automation. Uh, another important feature is the team member, team member, which means that you can, for example, create a browser on, on your computer. Let's now go a little bit uh, uh, to the practice. You can create an account. This is an, an email, for example, and then you can share it with someone else in your team. So for example, let's say that I'm using my own Gmail here. And like, I want to send it to someone else. So we will continue me because I'm, now I'm sick. I'm, uh, there is another shift after me, they can run it from the same spot that you stopped, which means like if I used it, I can bring my, I can share the profile with Adi, Adi will click on run and she will continue right the spot that uh, that I've stopped in. You can see that for example, I have some folders that uh, I'm sharing to each of our employees. And based on that, this is how we are working. We are able to share uh, the profile itself. So let's uh, go ahead and understand what uh, we are seeing over. So the big advantage to me to, to go login over the other, and again, like uh, is the option that you can create a new profile. Uh, you can say, for example, we, can, we will make another Gmail in this example. And you have a lot of fingerprints that you are uh, controlling. Uh, for example, uh, the proxy that you want to put, uh, which is the IP, the time zone will automatically will sync uh, with the proxy. Uh, sorry, one second. Uh, so you can see some of the things that you can control. And again, like uh, go login in the potential, do all the work for you. You don't need to uh, almost do anything. Once I will add a, a proxy, it will sync with the time zone. So for example, the time zone that uh, we saw on uh, Emma Unique, uh, the time, this time zone will be syncing with IP. So for example, if I will put New York IP, it will sync to this time zone. And as well as the geolocation, uh, which is like called spoofing, like where you're located the uh, uh, GPS location. And it will be all the WebRTC and everything based again, like 
on your LP location. It, we can, you can add extensions. Uh, as we said, you can actually do advanced. You can use, uh, you can actually uh, uh, control the user agent and I can all the fingerprints. Though you don't really read, need to do that because what you can just do, uh, you can ask it uh, to get a new fingerprints and then it will generate it uh, for itself. So you don't need to work hard. Uh, they have option to Windows, uh, Mac OS, Mac OS M1, which is the new one. Uh, each of them have different fingerprints, uh, Linux uh, and Android. Uh, they don't have iPhone. The only antivirus that have iPhone, as I currently know, is uh, Ed's Power. Uh, that also support uh, the iPhone. But again, like the Android uh, is not the perfect one to use. They have not the best uh, fingerprints. It's a little bit harder to, to hide. Uh, but let's uh, go ahead. Let's see uh, how it goes. So again, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to connect uh, one of our proxies. So you need to put the IP address of the host. You need to put uh, the port. Uh, it's really, really important to use an each time proxy because again, even if you are hiding everything like with go login, they can still see your IP and the opposite is also correct. Even if you're using a proxy on Chrome, they still have your fingerprints. If you're not using proxy on go login, they have your IP. So you always need want to hide both. You have the software, which is go login, which hides uh, your fingerprints, which are around 5,000 uh, uh, points and you have the proxy which hides your uh, internet ID, which is your IP. You can see that we are assigned an, a new proxy. I'm located uh, specifically uh, uh, in Portugal. And then I will create a profile. I renamed it uh, Gmail uh, Live. I will create the account. And again, I didn't change anything. I didn't uh, touch anything. Uh, it created already like an Android uh, uh, it tended to create something else, but uh, this is also good. I will click on the run. Uh, and then uh, we'll go back to the settings in a couple of uh, minutes. But uh, as you could see until it goes, you're able also to share. So for example, I can share this profile with someone else in my team. I can, for example, share it to Adi. And then Adi will have the same account also on her go login. So she can continue me. Uh, for the same uh, place, I think it's oh, okay. I think it's already open. You can see how it looks. It's a regular Chrome. Uh, let's go to Am I unique? Um, uh, I uh, wait one second. Uh, let's copy. Let's not work hard. I will go to Am I unique so you can see like the difference of. Uh, what we are seeing, you can see that, for example, uh, it creates like an image as an Android since uh, it's on the side. Uh, let's give it a second to, to think. So the, the user agent that we got, you can see that we got like an Android, uh, which run on Linux. Uh, you can see that again, like all the canvas for Android. So it creates like a full image night everything that uh, you're doing oh, this is good you can see that we're using uh, android we're using chrome the language is english the time zone is new york time zone utc minus uh, so it already seen uh, to that and even if i will look at the geolocation it's already seeing to uh, to new york and uh, this is again what uh, part of the things that, uh, that they're doing uh, you can see that they sync also the time zone and uh, they sync also uh, all the fonts that I'm using to American fonts and like to American Android, like what typically people use it uh, there. Uh, let's connect to Gmail and to show you how it goes. So again, like you can see that uh, even the mouth is Android mouth, uh, but again, you can do it also, on, uh, you can do it also on, on uh, and also on Windows. You can do it also on uh, Mac. And you can create whatever you like, and then you can be a couple of people. And again, from here, you can take it to wherever you like, actually. Let's connect to uh, Gmail. Yeah, so you can see that I'm connecting regularly. I believe it will ask verification. It's a new account that I created. It actually didn't. 
as you can see, like I, I, they didn't even ask me to verify myself because it's a trustworthy uh, 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 browser. You can see that I already connected uh, to the Gmail. And let's say, okay, I finished my session. I, you can see that it also manages your password. Uh, I will click on exit. And what will go login will do, it will sync it back the cookies uh, to here. So what will happen that once like uh, I will share it to Adi and she will click on run, she will continue from exactly the same spot uh, that I finished uh, that I finish it. Uh, so she can, can continue work from uh, the same place. Uh, and again, like this helps you a lot if you want to do automation to a lot of like, uh, like uh, uh, use cases it works also for ads, also for affiliate marketing, also to avatar farming and also, uh, and again, cybersecurity, just like really diverse or just if you want to, to be anonymous uh, over uh, the web and you want to have your own identity without uh, someone tracking you down. Super cool, Tal. Uh, thank you so much for that. It was super uh, informative. And I think also like one of uh, the great advantage of this tool is that it's very easy to use, right? Like I think some of the people are watching our videos and our content. So, you know, it's, it's uh, many of the I tools. Are <laughs> what is it? I don't understand. I don't understand that, that you need to click here. You need to do yeah. 10,000 people and to know to build like your own strategy. But here it's just like a couple of clicks and you're good to go. Yeah, so I think it's you, you explained also like really, really good. So thank you very much for that. Um, and guys, again, just we are using that, by the way, for our services, just to let you know, as Tal mentioned, you have many ways to make money with that. We are personally using it for um, reviews and for avatars on social media. But of course, you have many, many other things to, to do with that and to make more money. Um, Tal, actually, we'll attach, we'll attach the link on the YouTube video about a few uh, methods you can make the money with that. And also like, if you want some uh, text and content uh, in text about it. So I think the link will be good. Uh, thank you very much for watching us. We'll see you on the next video about the next uh, browser, anti-browser, how you say that? Anti-browser detected? <laughs> Anti-detect browser. Anti-detect browser, sorry. So we shall be the, <laughs> <laughs> the next videos. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.